Welcome back. The fate of the abortion drug Mifepristone is now in the hands of the U.S. Supreme Court. And we could expect a ruling on this drug to come as soon as tomorrow in what will surely be a decision closely watched and analyzed across the country, including right here in California. 17 Sacramento Bureau reporter Aton Wallace was with Governor Gavin Newsom today and joins us with what the governor had to say ahead of that decision. Well, right here at this podium, the governor acknowledged as long as he's in charge of this state, he will do all he can to protect the right to an abortion. But he acknowledged as it pertains to that anticipated Supreme Court ruling, there's only so much he can do. This is uh, an assault on women and girls and their fundamental rights and freedoms, period, full stop. And that's a hell of a statement. It's a statement Governor Gavin Newsom has long echoed in this post Roe v. Wade America, and one he's especially concerned about now, ahead of the upcoming Wednesday midnight deadline, when abortion medication Mifepristone could see major restrictions go into effect unless the U.S. Supreme Court acts. This simply would not be happening uh, to men and boys. It comes after a federal judge this month moved to suspend Mifepristone more than 20 years after the U.S. Food and Drug Administration first approved the medication. But after the federal judge's decision, the Supreme Court temporarily allowed the medication to remain on the market unrestricted until Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. We need to call this out and be clear in our conviction and our resolve. In the meantime, the governor says he's working on this draft legislation he says will protect pharmacists within California if they dispense the drug, even if the Supreme Court suspends it. He also stressed his signing of more than a dozen pro-choice bills last year, while this year purchasing more than 200 50,000 pills of abortion drug misoprostol for an emergency stockpile. We have ample supply. We've been currently in this state. Uh, so that's the state of our readiness and preparedness. A preparedness he and the attorney general say takes into account what could happen if the Supreme Court suspends the drug. It's also possible that we um, pursue a, a separate lawsuit in a separate court. Um, to just a, conceptually an idea to the governor's point. Uh, there's no shortage of creative ideas, of innovation, all within the existing contours of the law, which we, which we honor, which we will follow. Uh, but there's always a way. And asked if he would defy the Supreme Court's ruling if it suspends the medication. Newsom says he would disagree with that, but he believes in the rule of law. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.